Hello. Hopefully this is all working now. <laughs> and uh, you can see me and uh, all the stream is working fine. With any luck, let me just check on my phone, see what's going on. Hello. Hopefully this is all working now. <laughs> uh, okay, close the video of me. Hello. Being there. Uh, Hopefully this is all working. And uh, all that. <clears throat> so, uh, well, firstly, thank you for joining me. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done any live streaming or anything like this. So I have absolutely no idea how it will go. Uh, hopefully it will go fine it will probably end up messing up somehow or other but you know we'll take that as we as we find it um, so what am I doing well first let me put some background music on because it's gonna be really boring if you just listen to me hopefully that's not too loud probably isn't but I'll probably find that out after I've finished and I review the video and I go, oh, oh dear, it was a bit too loud. Anyway, um, so as part of the retask agreement uh, and the programme for government, the Scottish Government has uh, committed to reform trans healthcare. As part of that, Health Improvement Scotland uh, are conducting, oh, developing the new standards. Uh, which will be used to inform, which will be informed by an expert, a, pa by a panel of experts uh, and trans people with lived experience. To get all that set up, uh, they have put out a scoping document, uh, and we will be filling in the consultation uh, of that scoping document. So generally, it's it's pretty fine. Uh, <coughs> Here is the document. Seven key areas. Uh, so let's start off. Me. It's difficult to talk and type at the same time. Well, lived. That'll do, it's about right. It's probably spot wrong, but never mind. So I've already made some notes about what we're gonna fill in on here. Um, this section, section two, do you agree that the proposed areas detailed in the scope are right areas, are the right areas? This relates to the actual scoping document, which is on the screen at the minute. And these areas here. So it will cover the leadership in government, uh, staff education and training, person censored and trauma informed care, the initial referral, the role of primary care, services for young people, transition between young people and adult services, and services for adults. Um, it explicitly won't cover specific treatments or therapy options or, and, and clinical pathways. Um, while I, what I would like is for this to end up giving us um, a system where trans healthcare is delivered at the primary care level, in other words, like your GP. So you go to your GP, you say, hi, I'm trans, I'd like to be put on estrogen or blockers. And they will then say, okie dokie, uh, we can do that for you. Where's my... I'm going to turn this down a little bit more. There we go. So, yeah, hopefully um, we all get into a position where you can go to your GP and say, hi, I'm trans, I'm going to be put on hormones or blockers or, or whatever. Uh, and the GP will assess you 
and be happy with you and put you on with, and the medication you need. And so you don't need to go to a gender identity clinic. I still think there's a role for GICs. Uh, I think they provide very good care for people dealing with the, the trauma related to being trans uh, in a cis-centric cis world and transphobia in general. But I think that given that this will include the scope that will be covered, includes the initial pathway uh, and the role of primary care, I think that this is perfectly fine as the scope is. So we'll just go yes. Are there any key points not covered? Well, again, not really. Do you agree with the proposed population covered? Well, let the proposed population is trans people, um, both older trans people like myself and uh, younger trans people as well. So, yeah, I think that's a reasonable, reasonable thing. Do you agree with the pro proposed settings? Again, this covers primary care. This, this proposal covers primary care. So I think it's reasonable. Is there any key references or evidence that we should include? So again, going back to the scoping document, there's a list of um, evidence that there are key sources that they'll look at. Um, it might not jump out to many people, but the thing that jumped out to me was this one here, uh, the CAS report. The CAS report has been seen as uh, some kind of giant win for transphobes. It isn't. Um, it does say that the tough stock is uh, not fit for purpose and has led to, to it being closed, but it was it's being closed in favor of more local care for uh, young trans people. So in that respect, it's quite good. The thing I have a problem with the CAS report is that in this context, it's primarily based about England. So while issues such as long waiting lists and um, yeah, just insane waiting lists for, for younger people, um, especially when you're, you're approaching puberty and the scariness of that going through puberty in the wrong gender, but it, as I say, it's England and Wales, so I don't actually think it's as relevant to the Scottish system as um, as it's been put in here. The other thing I think that is missing off of here is the WPATH guidelines. So the world, let's move this over here, the standard of care, which is the World Professional Association of Transgender Health. Uh, and it's seen as sort of the gold standards for trans care, for trans health care, I think uh, very much something that this this group should be considering along with along with the national framework and the strategic action. So going back to the consultation, are there any key references that should be included? I think yes. The path. The path guidelines. See. Don't meet the speaker. We won't put about uh, a cash report in here because this is our skin about stuff that should be included that isn't. But we will put a note at the bottom here that uh, should I put it there or should I put it there? I think we put it here. I do not, I don't believe. 
Intro. Here's relevant. To Scotland. And therefore, not relevant to your. Are there any gaps in the proposed development group membership? Well, the membership covers a wide range of people. Uh, let's have a look at the list of stuff. So everybody from clinical uh, clinical leads, psychologists, pediatric endocrinologists, general practitioners, but probably the most important group of people are people with the lived experience, i.e. trans people. Um, and I think as long as we're there, uh, then it's fine. The only other issue is the third sector representatives. So while uh, I welcome third sector representatives, uh, you know, LGBT plus charities, I think, um, well, let's, let's, not, let's not beat about the bus here. The LGB Alliance. Um, they are uh, a third sector organisation and they would love to be jump on this and um, attack trans people and use it as a way to, to prevent uh, younger trans people getting the care that they need. So there are no gaps, but we definitely have a concern. And I need to switch the notifications off because otherwise they pop up and I didn't realise that. Uh, I think care should be taken when looking As you can tell, my spelling is atrocious. A number. I don't know what I'd do without Grammarly and uh, and other spell checking things. My music stopped. I'll put this one back on again. I need to find a longer playlist of two songs. Uh, for completely off topic, but if you're interested, um, the playlist is from Libra FM, which is a free to use. Uh, all the all the music that's hosted on here is uh, is public domain. You can use it for whatever you want. So that's why we're listening to this. I'll put links in the in the notes underneath for the uh, for the actual playlist and uh, the music if you're interested and and just to give credit to the to the actual artist that did it originally. Uh, so oh, wait, I think care should be taken within third sector organisations. A number of have been.
keep it from the wet. Okay, and that's your lot. So just click on finish everything and it's done. There's nothing less to say. As I said, this is primarily about testing the system to make sure it works, um, making sure that everything is functioning as it should be, um, and that you can hear me and that I can hear everything and uh, other notes appearing. <laughs> so, with that, I'll uh, find OBS Studio and uh, stop the streaming. Thank you very much.